guys? It's your girl Brie and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So for today's video, I'll be unboxing my very own personalized Hogwarts Slytherin robes. Guys, I am so excited. It's crazy. Literally, I received this package just yesterday and it took everything, yes y'all, everything in me to not open up the package the second it was delivered to my house. So y'all are so lucky, it's not even funny. So I ordered these robes from the Harry Potter platform nine and three quarters shop in London, UK, and I've been wanting to get these specific robes for the past, like, five months or so I would say and the fact that they are custom made makes it all the more special and I cannot wait to unbox it on camera with you guys and I'm so excited because I hope these robes not only fit but also of course I love them because in the month of October I'll be going to Universal Studios with some friends and I'll be visiting the of course Wizarding World of Harry Potter and I cannot wait to wear my robes and just walk down Hogsmeade as well as Diagon Alley because literally for the past like two years that I've been consistently going to Universal it is something that I've always wanted to do so the fact that I'll finally be able to do that uh, it's pretty much a dream come true. And on top of that, I really hope to wear my little robes, you know, for Halloween or whatever, because it is coming up. So I think it'd be really cool to dress up as a Slytherin student for Halloween. Like, I haven't dressed up for Halloween in years, so this will be a first. So if y'all watched my previous video on the Hogwarts personalized trunk, y'all know that ordering anything from that platform, 9 and 3 quarter shop, costs a lot when it comes to the shipping. So for these robes specifically, I paid about, I think, about $25 for shipping, and I was like, bruh, I mean, it's a whole lot better than the $45 that I paid for the Hogwarts trunk. But still, I was like, dang, $25 to ship some fabric? Nonetheless, though, it didn't stop me from ordering it because as I told y'all, this is something I've been wanting for the longest. In terms of shipping, it actually arrived pretty fast. I ordered this literally last Friday at like midnight and it arrived just yesterday. So it took only six days to process, ship, and deliver. And I'm like, bruh, your girl is really impressed. Like if I'm gonna pay $25 for shipping, it better get here that quickly. Nonetheless, though, you guys, I am so excited to open it up. So if you are ready to see my unboxing of my Slytherin personalized robes, then keep on watching. Okay, so for this package, it's definitely not as complex as the one my Hogwarts trunk came in. So pretty much all I have to do is just tear up in the packaging. So let's get into it. All right, y'all, oh my gosh. Literally, my heart is racing right now. It's insane, but hold on. I just, I need a little schminit, you know? All right, let's do it. All right. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm so excited. I cannot contain it. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry, 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 I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Breathe, breathe, breathe. <laughs> I know some of y'all are like, dang girl, just hurry up and open it, but like, there's steps to this, bruh. So before I open up the actual packaging that these Slytherin robes are in, because they are in like a clear plastic like this, there is a little letter here at the top of it. I'll just look it over real quick. Okay, so basically it comes with just this letter here that basically tells you as to how to return it. Now it does say though for personalized items specifically, it is very hard to return. Yeah, so for these kind of items, it says unless they're deemed as faulty, you cannot return them. So fingers crossed y'all, my robes fit perfectly because if they don't, I don't know what I'm gonna do. But all right, you guys, let's officially dive in. Okay, so on top of here, it just has a slip for all of my order information. So for my robe specifically, I'm gonna let you guys know I ordered an extra small cause your girl's pretty slim, you know what I'm saying? So I think from the dimensions given on the website, they actually have the dimensions in both centimeters as well as inches, which was pretty helpful because the US is probably one of the very few countries that actually like to use inches. Anyway, I ordered the extra small because according to the dimensions given on the site, it seemed as though it was gonna really like accommodate me and fit well. for robe specifically though I know that like they're not supposed to be really fitted per se they're supposed to be you know a little baggy but the thing is I think baggy clothes don't look cute on me so I was like let me just get it extra small because those were my actual dimensions so I hope it fits I think it will okay guys so ooh, oh my gosh y'all I feel the embroidery at the bottom oh my gosh I'm gonna flip it over y'all on uh, one two three oh my gosh <laughs> Like literally, if y'all know me, I'm a sucker for personalized things. So the fact that I could put my very own name on these robes made it all the more special. So I'm so happy that I got to put my name on these robes. And then a couple inches above it, they do have the signature Slytherin badge. It does look pretty cool. The only thing I would say it's a little bit smushed up, like the letters for the word Slytherin. I kind of wish it was like a little bit more separated and clear so you could see that it does say Slytherin if you're probably like from afar. But honestly, if you know anything about Harry Potter, you automatically know from the green robes and the green badge, it's Slytherin, of course. Nonetheless, though, I really like that they put my name specifically in the color gold. I feel like on top of the black, it really does stand out. So if you are seeing me just walking around, you'll be able to see that I have my name written on my robes. So aside from the embroidery, there are these two little buttons that kind of like 
loop onto each other and that's what makes the ropes close up and then of course it does have the green hoodie lining and okay okay whoa whoa y'all this hood is huge like dang i didn't think it was gonna be that big for real and another thing I do see inside of the hood, they have a tag here that says Harry Potter Wizarding World. And then it has just, of course, a picture of all the four houses. And then on the back of it here, it just says some information on it. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. It has a little seal on the little tag here. So it does have a seal that says the Wizarding World. And then beneath that, it says the Harry Potter collection. And then of course, it just has details for the robes, like size extra small. And then also the price, it costs 75 pounds, which honestly, I'm not 100% sure what the US conversion for that is don't quote me but uh it might be like anywhere between like 90 to 100 dollars i'm not sure though anyway under that it does have a tag here that says of course again harry potter wizarding world and then a picture of the four houses and what i think is so adorable about this here is that inside the hood it has the hogwarts symbol here and then it says student's name like that's so adorable Oh, y'all, look. Okay, so I just opened it up. So for the most part in the center, it's black, but then on each side, it is green, as you can see. And then inside of the armholes, it's green as well. I think that's pretty cute. I didn't know it was gonna be this much green. But all right, I'm gonna throw this robe on over my clothes just to see if it fits real quick. Whoa, y'all, I haven't even like adjusted it completely. So for the bottom half, it's not even 100% on. But for the top half, y'all, look. Oh my gosh, like bruh, my arms are so huge. So I am so thankful that I got an extra small because literally the night I was ordering it, I was like going back and forth, like should I get an extra small or small? Because like the extra small fit me like perfectly dimensions wise. But then I was like, you know, maybe I should get a small because Hogwarts robes aren't supposed to be fitted. But then I remember, yo, your girl is a skinny mini. So I am definitely gonna need that extra small. And uh, there's no regrets so far with getting that size. Oh my gosh, you guys, I have pockets. Oh my God, I have pockets. Your girl has pockets. Life is crazy. So all right, y'all, let me adjust myself just a little bit more. All right, y'all, so I buttoned up the robes and I'm already obsessed with the way that these robes look. Like, I haven't even put together the whole ensemble, but I love it so much already. So if you watch my Hogwarts trunk unboxing, I did get a Slytherin beanie along with a Slytherin scarf. And on top of that, I received a Slytherin tie. So I'm super excited because I'm gonna go quickly put the whole ensemble together and then grab a top, some jeans, and one of my little wands, and I'll be right back, you guys. All right, you guys, I am back. I didn't end up putting on the scarf or the beanie yet. I just got to the point where I put on like the tie and the top and the bottoms and you guys, you guys, I love the way I look right now. Like this is like a literal dream come true. Like you Harry Potter fans know, like you've always dreamt and wish you could go to Hogwarts. So being able to literally dress like this is just as close as it gets. I look like I legit am supposed to be on the set of Harry Potter. Like I'm envisioning myself right now walking through the hallways with Crab and Goyle and Draco. Like y'all, we're late for defense against the dark arts again, bruh. But seriously, you guys, I love my outfit right now. Like the nerd within me is screaming so loud. Like I have really wanted to ever since I first started watching Harry Potter, wanted to own my own pair of robes. And a couple months ago when I discovered that they sell the personalized ones on the Harry Potter shop and platform nine and three quarters, I knew that I had to get it. Like this outfit looks so cute, you guys. Like I'll put a little picture here to the left of me so you can see a better look of it fully standing. But I feel like it's so cool. Like I love the fact that I actually managed to have this cute little white crop top with a little collar here. And then for the bottoms, I actually don't really like wearing skirts, so your girl doesn't own a skirt. But I figured I could just wear some black pants with it, and even with the black pants, the outfit looks so good. Like, and by the way, in case y'all haven't peeped, in my last video for the Hogwarts trunk unboxing, I did not know how to tie a tie, and your girl learned! Look at this tie! Look at it! And on top of that, you guys, you guys, one of the coolest parts of these Slytherin robes is that, bruh, I have a pocket for my wand! Like, oh my gosh, that is so cool! So for today, I figured to pair with this outfit, I brought out my Severus Snape wand that I actually got as a gift for Christmas a few years ago. I love his wand so much because black is one of my favorite colors and I really love the detailing that is all across his wand at the bottom here. So I love this wand because it's simplistic yet unique and above all, it's owned by Severus Snape who is my favorite Harry Potter character ever. And hello, he's a Slytherin so I figured it is only fitting to use a Slytherin wand with this beautiful Slytherin outfit. I am so excited to wear this to Universal, you have no idea. I cannot wait to walk around in Hogsmeade and Diagon Alley 
Valley and then go up to Hogwarts Castle and ride rides with this cool outfit on like it is so surreal right now I cannot believe that I'm actually sitting here with my own Harry Potter robes and then also with my name on the Slytherin robes like bruh life does not get better than this right here so now I'm gonna throw on my scarf and beanie to complete the ensemble Okay, so with it all together, I'm obsessed. Like, literally, this is definitely a look. Like, it's giving vibes. Like, it's winter in Hogwarts. I've gone down to Hogsmeade, and there's just snow everywhere. And I'm about to go into the three broomsticks to get myself a nice cup of butterbeer. And y'all, like, I just love the way I look so much. It's insane. Like, literally, if you take anything from this video please understand if you are a Harry Potter fan and there's something out there that you want to get but you are too scared too nervous and you've been contemplating for the longest just do it like my good bro Shia LaBeouf says just do it make your dreams come true so do not hold back like just get it because it will 100% truly and totally make you so happy I'm not even joking like for the robes especially if you're thinking about getting it from Universal platform nine and three quarters Amazon Target wherever it is you've seen it at just get it I will say though that getting it from the platform nine and three quarter shop is probably your best bet because literally the material of this fabric it's real nice like it doesn't seem cheap at all like I feel like I 100% got my money's worth and the fact that I got my name on these robes right here is just a whole nother touch like I love this so much I'm just I'm at a loss for words like I literally cannot right now I think it's so cool so it's a five-star review for me 10 out of 10 would recommend and baby girl if you don't go on that site and buy a robe you low-key missing out you know what I'm saying? Just a little bit. Alright, you guys, that's it for today's video. Thank you so, so much for watching. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to your girl's YouTube channel and turn that notifications bell on so you'll be notified when I upload a brand new video. Also, please be sure to add your girl on Instagram at Brianna underscore Calix as well as on Snapchat at Red and Black Princess. While you're at it, add your girl on TikTok at Brianna Calix as well as on Twitter at Brie Calix. Alright, you guys. Bye, y'all. Your girl loves her.